Hey, it's Scott, and today we're gonna just do a quick video with a couple of little updates for this Salkani X60, which is a great little Bowens mount LED light that comes in for just about $170. Now, I've made a couple of videos about this so far, a full review kind of unboxing type video, as well as another video to show a couple of soft boxes that might work with this with a smaller size. Throughout those videos, a couple of problems came up. One of those is that there was no uh, option for battery power included with this light, which is a little bit of a downer because it's such a portable light. And another problem was that the actual yoke here is a little bit weak, so it can uh, slip and fall under the weight of a heavier or larger softbox. Now I found solutions or workarounds for both of those problems, so today that's what we're gonna be talking about. First up is the battery power option, and I wasn't sure if this would work, uh, but I contacted the company and I was assured that it should, and I tested it, and it does, and that's just to use a simple D-Tap to DC uh, adapter cable with a V-mount battery. So that's just a simple cable like this one here. It has the D-Tap connection on one side and then the DC uh, barrel on the other side. And a battery like either of these, this one's from Gen Energy, this one's from Sunwell, they're both 98 watt hour, of course it doesn't really matter, uh, but we'll test out both of these now just to show you that I'm not just saying this, it really does work. All you have to do obviously is just plug it into the DTAP port on your VMOP battery, plug this into the DC port on the back of the light, and then boom, it works. And this is at 1% now, but even if we go all the way up to 100%, no problem whatsoever, it's working just fine. Now just to show you that it does also work with something like the Sunwell battery, there you go, this is at 100%, again working just fine. This cable that I have here is just a no-name brand that I found on Amazon that had at least a couple of good star ratings. Um, and I'm in Japan, so these no-name brands are probably not gonna be available for you if you're in the US or somewhere else, but I will put a link in the video description for a handful of cables that I can find or like, you know, a list, a search result on Amazon or something like that, just so you can have somewhere to start looking. Now obviously to use these batteries you're going to need to mount them somewhere but my best advice would just be to get like a dummy V-mount uh, plate from small rig or something and then you can mount it onto a clamp like something from 9 Dot Solutions and then just clamp that right onto the light stand right here and it would work really really well. Now the other problem that this has is that it does uh, sag or slip under the weight of a heavier or larger softbox and it really doesn't even take that much of a heavy softbox or that large of a softbox to do that as you could see in one of my previous videos about this light. But I did find a workaround to that as well. Thank you to one of the people in the comments of that video who suggested this. I tried it out and it seems to work great. Of course you could uh, customize this solution in a way that works best for you but what I have here is just a strip of Velcro that I got from the dollar store. And this is what I'm gonna to use to make this work. Now since this light has this handle back here on the top of the light, we're gonna use that. We're gonna loop the Velcro through that handle and then loop it through the actual uh, yoke, the mount down at the bottom. And we're gonna just use that to kind of hold it in place. It's easier to do that, to do this when the light is not on there. That's why I'm doing it like this right now, but just uh, get that nice and tight and holding it on there and that will kind of hold it in place as the weight of the softbox pulls it down. I'm gonna throw the large original, or not the original, the Mark II, but the large full-size light dome on there, which is a large and heavy, front heavy modifier on there, and just show you right now that it's not gonna droop even under that weight as long as you have this. Again, you could do something better than Velcro, but uh, this is gonna work. So there you go, a quick workaround to the SAG issue as well as a way to power this with battery when you're in the field, which is actually fairly simple. Again, I'll put links to that small rig uh, V-mount, V-lock plate that I was talking about as well as a recommended Nine Dot Solutions clamp that you could use together with that to mount this onto a light stand if you're using battery power in the field. Um, and if you have any other questions or comments, of course, let me know down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, if you wanna see more on this light in general, be sure to check out my other two videos if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.